Today on Mike Attempts, fixing a rotary hammer. I got this broken rotary hammer drill for free. The previous owner was using it in a crawl space to remove part of the foundation when it started cutting out. The cord looks alright, so let's see if we can bring it back to life. It's pretty dusty in there. There's plenty of meat left on this brush. If you were able to look through my hand, you'd see that I'm lifting the spring that keeps tension on the brush. This brush is stuck. Maybe that's why it was cutting out. If the brush can't move freely in the brush holder, making constant contact with the commutator, electricity can't flow to the motor. The armature seems to be getting hung up on the brush holders, so I'm going to have to pull them out a bit. Nope. 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 Yep. There we go. Looks pretty good. The stator is filthy. I plugged up the hole to keep dust out of the gearbox. Judging by the condition, inside and out, it seems like the tool was being used while laying on the ground. Lots of dirt and grit was sucked into the motor. All the electrical contacts are dirty too. 
The switch sounds good, but I still want to take a look inside. I think the switch is fine, but while I'm in here, I'm going to clean it up. All shined up and ready to reassemble. I applied a little silicone grease in the spots that were greased originally. Lots of little parts make this switch a bit of a pain to put back together. I kind of feel like I'm playing a game of operation. I'm going to test it out to be sure I didn't mess anything up. With the multimeter set to continuity, there's no connection unless the button is pressed, so the switch is functioning properly. The dirt is really caked on the inside of the plastic cover. I used a bore brush to clean the inside of the brush holders. This should ensure that the brushes are able to slide freely. I reapplied the grease that was removed while cleaning. I got
got the cover cleaned up pretty good. It's kind of hard to see, but after cleaning the stator, I found scratches towards the bottom. My guess is that small chunks of dirt and concrete made it in there during its last job. The bearing seems good. I used a piece of wood to gently tap the brush holders back into place. The notches in the plastic ring around the bearing need to be lined up with the tabs on the cover. The speed controller shined up nicely. Reassembled and cleaned, let's see if it works. Sounds good to me. Let's test it out. I use the slowest setting to get the bit started, and then increase the speed to maximum. seems to be working great. Sometimes, all there is to a repair is just a good cleaning. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.